what's going on everyone welcome back so today I kind of wanted to do a quick little video more of a PSA for everybody uh, I know that you know these knockout collection boxes have been around for quite a bit now but um, these specifically these uh, Bolton and I believe there was one more uh, knockout box that came out at the same time are rumored and actually were confirmed to have uh, Evolving Skies and Fusion Strike within them. And so I actually had quite a bit of these and, and it was true I had opened some before and you know sure enough it was one pack Evolving Skies, one pack Fusion Strike and a coin, some promos and I think that was it. So recently I went and picked up a few more. Well I didn't go to pick them up but I was at Target I believe and I saw some and I grabbed them and when I came home I decided to open a few and realized that they did not have Evolving Skies. They actually had Fusion Strike still, but it was Chilling Rain in case, uh, instead of the Evolving Skies, I'm sorry. Um, and so that was kind of concerning and made me wonder how many of the ones that I have actually don't have Evolving Skies. But from you know doing a little detective work, I was able to kind of figure out what I think is uh, the best way to determine without opening them what has Evolving Skies and what does not have Evolving Skies. So I have here one of the ones that I believe does have Evolving Skies. And the best way that you guys can determine this, and we will test this in just a moment, is by looking for this white little square right here, this box, uh, with the little tree and the, and the lettering. If it has that, then it does contain Evolving Skies. Now, I'll show you the other ones. If it does not have that, it will contain Chilling Rain instead of Evolving Skies. Uh, another way you can kind of tell it's a little bit harder to do. Yeah, my camera's not even picking up on it. But these ones, the ones without it, actually are a little bit darker blue. This is more of a lighter blue. But, I mean, I think that's a lot harder to do than to just look for this little square. You can see both of them right there. So this will be evolving, this will be non-evolving. And so we'll open a couple of these that do not have the evolving skies. This should have Chilling Rain, Fusion Strike. So let's check it out. And yeah, I mean, I was picking these up because I felt like, you know, it's a nice little way of, you know, just kind of holding some evolving skies. A lot of people will see these and they won't actually realize, hey, there's evolving sky in there, evolving skies in there. You know, it's a nice little hold, why not? Um, for cheap, 10 bucks is I think what these run for at Target. Like I said, it has a coin. It has the promos. I don't know if you guys have seen these promos yet, but we can open one of these so you guys can check them out. So it has a Bolton. It's like the Cosmos Hollow SQ and Galarian Surfetched. There's a code. And like we were discussing, it's going to have Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike. So we can get into this first one. Anyways, yeah, it's a nice little um, way of holding some Evolving Skies, you know, if you choose to do so. For pretty cheap, you know, all things considered. Uh, but it is a little bit dangerous if you don't know and you're grabbing a bunch of these. And I mean, not to say that Chilling Rain is not a good set, but if you're looking for Evolving Skies, it kind of defeats the purpose, right? So we got a Quillfish, Waltz, Heracross, Spiel, Atena, another. Kecleon, and nothing on this one. So that's the other thing about these packs, right? No matter what, here's the old code, uh, the old code card. Um, the hit rates on all this sword and shield stuff is just going to be a lot tougher. Um, and that's kind of what I've seen a lot of people are starting to migrate towards um, Scarlet and Violet, just because, you know, it is a little bit more fun. You do have a lot better odds of hitting things. Feels like hit rates are a little bit better. So Growlithe, Stuffle, Extra Drill, yeah, I'm proving it here. Energy, Dark Rye, another code card. So this is the newer code card. So weird how that works out. So anyways, we'll open one more. This what I have to it. But these, once again, should contain, uh, contain the same thing. Coin, promos, I won't open up that one again. And two packs, Evolving, I mean, uh, sorry, look at me. Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. So let's start with the Fusion. Let's see if we can actually get a hit here. Rubbin. 
Mankey, Krogunk, Fancier, Gumi, Absol, nothing there. Wow, yeah, these are rough. But, I mean, for the price per pack, if you just want to take your shot at some of these old alt arts, you could definitely do worse. Shreel, Crab Crawler, Gallet, Oregon, Caitlin, and with Ofer on that one. Yeah, that's rough. So, anyways, the whole point of this was to show you guys this box actually. Because I want to make sure that you guys I want to be able to show you guys that there is a difference and there is a way to tell. So if you actually look for that little white square, little white box. Oh my god, the bottom seems a lot tougher too. You will be able to determine if they're evolving skies without actually opening it, which is actually pretty cool. So let's see. Let's verify that. So, there we go. Promos are actually held back too, which the other one was not. They're just kind of loose in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So there's the promos. It's a different coin. It's a Pikachu coin. And then, haha, Evolving Skies. So we'll open that one last. See if these packs have a little bit better, a little bit better luck. Because that was pretty rough. Anyways, so yeah, that's the way you guys can determine that. I think it's a pretty cool little trick to determine that. Now you guys can be a little bit more careful if you're looking for evolving or whatever you want to do. At least you have the information. Nothing again. All right, last pack. Well, if we saved all our luck for the evolving skies, I won't be that upset. See if there's something in here for us. And uh, any hit in this set is pretty much a good hit. So let's see. Lit Leo, Bagon, Lilip, C Dot, Pikachu, Fletchender. It's just a hollow, but that is a hit. Yep, black code card. Well, like you guys can see, there is an easy way to determine whether it is evolving or not. So at least you guys have that information. So good luck out there. You guys have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Peace.